Mr. Shri. This is the third video on machines and in this video we are going to learn about pulleys. Do watch this video till the end and if you like it give the thumbs up and do share it with your friends. So let's start. Now coming to pulleys. What are pulleys actually? Now a simple pulley consists of a grooved ring, right? It has a frame which is tied or attached with a nail at this point and this is known as the axis, right? This thing this is known as the axis and depending upon this axis now pulley are being classified into two categories which I am going to study and around this group ring the rope is tied the rope is attached for the pulley to lift loads and do other activities right so we will be studying about the two kinds of pulleys depending upon the axis right now if this axis is fixed at a point let I am drawing a pulley say this axis is fixed right to a rigid support the rope is tied over here and let the load be over here right so if the load is to be pulled by the effort over here let this be the load right so in this case what happens we see that mechanical advantage equals load by effort due to this effort there will be a tension in the spring in upward direction and due to this load there will be a tension in downward direction so mechanical advantage will equal P by T that is equal to 1 so we find that there is no increase in mechanical advantage thus the question arises that why are we going to use a single fixed pulley we can see in this case that the effort has to be applied in the downward direction Thus, we can utilize our own weight. We will be applying the effort in downward direction. So, we can utilize our own weight to pull the load. Right? So, a single fixed pulley is used to change the direction of effort actually. We will move on to the second category where the axis will not be fixed. Right? Rather, the load will be applied over here. And it will be fixed at the other end. Thus, the load will be uh, sorry, the effort will be applied in this direction. Now, due to this load that is acting in downward direction, there will be an equivalent tension in this string, in the string at this point, at this point, right? So, to balance this load, we have two tensions. Thus, our load equals two t, right? To balance this load, there will be tension in both the ends of the string. So, our load will equal two t. Whereas for this effort, we will have only a single tension in the string in this direction, right? So we have mechanical advantage equals load by effort, which equals 2t by t, that is equal to 2, right? Now keeping, in, keeping an ideal case, we know efficiency equals 1, right? And we know efficiency equals mechanical advantage by velocity ratio. So in both the cases, in this case probably first, we have velocity ratio is equal to 2 and for here we have mechanical advantage equal to 1 if we take efficiency equal to 1 for ideal case then 1 equal to mechanical advantage by velocity ratio mechanical advantage is also 1 so velocity ratio will also be 1 right so in this case we find that mechanical advantage equal to 2 that is it acts as a force multiplier right but in this case we see that the effort is being applied in the upward direction that is against the gravity so we are not able to utilize the full of our effort in this case we were, we were applying the effort in downward direction so we were able to utilize our own weight also so we are going to have a combination of a single fixed and a single movable pulley such that the effort can be applied in a convenient direction that is in the downward direction so let's have the combination of the two so to have the combination we will have what a single movable pulley as well as a single fixed pulley right so let us have a look so we will have a single movable pulley a single fixed pulley so single fixed pulley will be fixed to a rigid support right and this end will be fixed let me draw it with another pen so like this. So 
So you see, we will be applying in this case effort in downward direction, right? And let the load be applied over here. So this is the load, right? So we can see over here that we are applying the effort in downward direction, which is the convenient direction, right? So for this load, there will be tension in the strings like this, right? And for this effort, we will have a single tension. So over here also, mechanical advantage will equal load by effort, load will equal 2T, whereas effort will equal T. So mechanical advantage will be equal to 2 and keeping efficiency equal to 1, we will have velocity ratio is equal to 2. So over here, the combination acts as a force multiplier also and we are applying the effort in a convenient direction also. So this combination of single fixed and single uh, movement pulley is used to apply the effort in a convenient direction, right? We'll have a comparison between single fixed and single movement pulley, right? So let's have the comparison. So we had seen that for single fixed pulley, the mechanical advantage was one for fixed pulley. Right? For movable, mechanical advantage was equal to 2. Right? Same is the case with velocity ratio. Velocity ratio equals 1 for fixed pulley and for movable it was 2. A single fixed pulley is used to change the direction of effort. It is used to change the direction of effort. Right, or it allows us to apply our effort in a convenient direction, whereas a movable pulley acts as a force multiplier. Right, so this is a basic comparison between a fixed and a single movable pulley. We'll know about block and tackle system next. I hope you have got some concept about pulleys, right? Single fixed and single movable, right? So we have seen that mechanical advantage can be two in case of single movable pulley, right? But in case of lifting heavy weights, we need mechanical advantage to be more than two. For that, we need a combination of pulley. Now pulleys can be arranged in two ways. For example, keeping one pulley fixed to a rigid support and using multiple movable pulleys, right? So in this case, we can have mechanical advantage more than two and we can lift heavy weights or we can have two system, right? We can arrange pulleys in two blocks, right? One block fixed and the other block movable. This is known as block and tackle system, which we are going to study later on, right? So these are the two combinations of pulleys that we can use to lift heavy weights. At one, we are keeping one fixed and the other movable or in other system, we can arrange the pulleys in two ways, right? The one being fixed and the other being movable. The fixed block is known as block and the other is known as the tackle. So we are going to study them one by one. So let us start with the first one that is keeping one fixed and the other movable, right? So let me draw the diagram first. So, the diagram will be like this, let this be a pulley which is fixed, right, and let me draw a combination of other pulleys, right, which are movable, so let the load be attached over here, right, and each pulley will be attached with a different string, right? So different strings will have different tensions in it, right? Because of this load, this string will get tension divided in two parts, right? Over here T and over here T, right? Let me, let me mark this as T1, right? So due to this load, there will be tensions in these two parts as this string is same, so there will be a tension T1. Now this string is different, so there will be different tension. Let me call this as T2. And this will be distributed in two ways. Sorry. This string will continue 
over here, right? So there will be tension T2 over here also, and this is a different string, so there will be say tension T3. The same tension will be over here, and the same tension will be over here. So now let me derive the relation between them. So we see this due to this load there is tension in this string. So two T1 equals L, right? Moving on, this tension has been divided into two T2. So two T2 will equal T1. If we take the relation of T1, then we get T1 equal to L by two. From here we get T2 equals T1 by two. So if we put the value of T1 over here, then we get L by two by two. That is L by two to the power two. Moving on, we have two T3 equal to T2. So two T3 equal to T2. That is T3 equals T2 by two. Right. Putting the value of T2, that is L by two to the power two and one two from here, so it will be two to the power three. So this is the total value. Right. T3 is what we are going to apply the effort over here. So effort equals T3. Right, and T3 equals L by 2 to the power 3. So we uh, will derive the mechanical advantage equal to load by effort. Load equals L by, sorry, 2 to the power 3 into T3. And what is effort? T3. Thus, it gives us mechanical advantage equal to 2 to the power 3. In this case, we see that 3 is the number of movable pulleys. So in general we say that mechanical advantage equals 2 to the power n where n is the number of movable pulleys in the combination of pulleys. Right. So this was the first category where we kept one fixed and the other movable where we found that mechanical advantage equal to 2 to the power n. And, we, and if we take the <coughs> general case that is if we take efficiency equal to 1 for ideal case, then velocity ratio will also equal 2 to the power n. We will move on to the second type that is block and tackle system. So for block and tackle system, we will have two blocks actually. The pulleys will be divided into two blocks, right? For the first block, the pulleys will be fixed and for the other block, for the lower block, the pulleys will be movable, right? So let me draw the pulleys. Now, the number of pulleys in the upper block and the lower block may be different also. The number of pulleys in the lower block can be either less or it may be equal to number of pulleys in the upper block. This is one of the points that you must remember while studying block and tackle system that the number of pulleys in the lower block can be different, it can be less than the upper block or we can have another case also where the number of pulleys may be same. Right. So we have both the cases. I can draw the other one also. One, two, let us say three. One, two, and three. Right. So over here we will have the number of pulleys uh, keeping same in both the in both the parts. Whereas in this part we are going to have a different different number of pulleys in the in the lower block. We are going to have one less number of pulleys than the upper block. In block and tackle system, irrespective from the last one. Over here, there is a single string which passes through all the pulleys. Over here, we have 3 and 2, that is unequal number of pulleys, and over here, we have same. Actually, we can reduce the number of pulleys, actually. So, over here, we can do it as 2-2, two, two, right? And over here, you can make it as 3-2, right? So, first of all, we are going to have this one, that is, same number of pulleys. So, if, there, if the pulleys in both the blocks are same, then the string is attached to the upper one, upper pulley, right? And then it is being applied like this. Over here, the effort is there, right? And we have the load at the last pulley, 
right? So this load is distributed in these two. Because of this load, there is tension in these two strings. The same string is passing through this, so there will be tensions over here also, right? And to this effort, there will be a tension over here, right? So we see that due to this load, there is one, two, three, four. There is four tensions, so four T, right? Whereas for this effort, there is a single T. So we can have mechanical advantage equal to load by effort that is equal to 4t by t that is equal to 4 which is equal to the number of pulleys in the combination. Let us see for the unequal number that is when number of pulleys in the upper block is more than the number of pulleys in the lower block. So in this case is uh, we have seen over here that the, that the string has been attached to the upper pulley but in this case the string is attached to the lower pulley, right? And the string will pass like this, and finally, the effort will be applied over here, right? Similarly, the weight will be over here, or the load will be over here. So, this will be our load L, and due to this load, there will be tensions in the string, right? So, due to this load, there will be tension. In these strings, as the string is same, so we will write the same values TT due to this tension, there will be over here, right? So we will find that 1, 2, 3, 4, and over here 5. 5 T will be there because of the load, and due to this effort, there will be another tension, so effort will equal T. So mechanical advantage will equal load by effort equal to 5 T by T, that equals 5. So we see in block and tackle system, the mechanical advantage equals the number of pulleys used in the combination, right? So by using this combination, we can have mechanical advantage more than two, or we can have this, uh, we can use this combination to lift heavy weights and it can act as a force multiplier, right? So this was all about pulleys. More videos are coming soon. We can do the numericals in the next video. So stay tuned.